Hey everybody, I just have to share this video with you. It's 60 seconds long, but it really explains a lot about the RV industry and the problems it's facing in 2024. And I normally don't look for videos like this, but the title of it, Traditional RV Service is Broken, just grabbed my attention because I'm all about RV service, customer service, and doing it yourself and taking care of business. But this video brought a whole new meaning to it. So let's watch it. Hang on for 60 seconds while we play this. We have to bring your RV in. It has to, we have to schedule when we pull it into the shop. Then we have to diagnose it. We pull it back out of the shop. Then we have to send things to like the uh, the, the warranty repair clerks. Then we have to wait for an approval. Yeah, a lot of times we don't see an answer anyway. So then we have to call and like bug them to finally look at your claim. Then we, we do or don't get an approval. Almost every time we're told we need more photos. And I swear... There's, there's way more truth to this image right here than I would ever like to admit. But the fact is, I don't care how many photos we provide, we almost always need to get more photos. Then once we finally get an approval, they send us parts. I'm not joking, half the time, the parts are wrong. And half the time they're not wrong, half of that time they're damaged on arrival. And we almost have to start the whole stupid process over again. And we finally get the right parts, finally get a full in the shop, finally get it fixed. And by the time you pick it up over two months later, you're cheesed off. And I don't blame you. And just like you, we're ticked off and mad about it. And we're trying to do... All right, so there we go. That's Bish's RV. That's their official video about how bad the manufacturers have become in 2024. Now, Bish's RV, they might be well-meaning with this video. I'm sure they are trying to explain that it's not their fault. And that's probably the case so many times, like with so many dealerships. But it, doesn't it explain that there's a problem? that doesn't matter how large or small the part might be, it might be two months or more before you can get your RV fixed. And then that depends on how busy the dealership is. So it could be two months, three months, four months. We've heard as long as 12 months to get RVs fixed, not necessarily at Bish's RV. And full disclosure here, I bought an RV from Bish's in 2022. And right out the get-go, the salesman starts talking about, we're not responsible for the quality. It's not us. We don't make it. So right away, the blame's being cast on the manufacturer. So we gotta think about this. What is this video saying? What I got from it is, don't buy a new RV in 2024. That's what you need to consider. If you have a favorite dealership that you wanna buy from, continue to buy from them. Not all dealerships are bad, not all manufacturers are bad, but this certainly points to a problem in the RV industry. Thanks for watching.